Our communities and drilling sector cannot wait. That is why we are taking this action today. Alberta is opening a loophole in the province's curtailment cap in an effort to spur investment in the energy sector starting immediately. Any new conventional oil well being drilled will not be subject to oil production limits. This is only for new wells, new wells drilled in the sector. The existing uh, c c conventional production still falls under the, under the curtailment policy. The energy minister has some specifics. The jobs are in new drilling. 145 uh, direct and indirect jobs for every every rig. But other details are less concrete, like how many new wells we could see in a province already dealing with thousands of abandoned orphaned wells, and when. We've been told that hundreds of new wells could could come on if it wasn't for for the curtailment policy. Then there are questions about what this will do to the price differential. We wouldn't be doing this if we were, were not confident that this could, could handle it. The lack of detail has led to a measured response from industry, with the Canadian Association of Petroleum Producers saying the Canadian oil and natural gas industry has faced a number of challenges in recent years, particularly in relation to market access and attracting capital investment. We look forward to further technical details in regards to today's announcement in terms of dealing with these challenges going forward. We've been, been told uh, by industry that the curtailment, if it was not for the curtailment policy, that hundreds of new wells would be brought on new conventional drilling activity. The province believes new wells will likely be drilled by existing companies which are near or at their curtailment limit starting next year and into 2021. But it still says the only long-term solution is market access, crude by rail and pipelines. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.